men who have only one chromosome, they, when they suffer from the mutation of the gene, um, they are more likely to, to like, uh, they, they can't uh, repair the defect. Like, like women, they have the X, the other X, X chromosome, they have the other normal functioning chromosome that can compensate or dilute the, the defect uh, chromosome. So, the other one. so these are the researchers that they also found the, uh, the other genes that might affect a person to have a violent behavior. That's all my, for my part. Alright, uh, hello. So, today, uh, as you see this picture, what do you think, what would be your reaction? Of course, it's scary because, wait, I mean, serial killers are actually one problem that our country really faces from controlling the problem. Alright, so today, uh, I'm going to talk about two famous serial killers from Malaysia. One is called Benton Kali, and then another one is called Lee Chong Meng. He's, uh, he's called as Killer Casanova. <coughs> so now, I'm going to talk about the history of Benton Kali. Alright, about him, his real name is P. Kalimutu, and also uh, named as Benton Kali. He's the kickstarter his life of crime at the age of 14, in the year of 1991. He enrolled himself in the notorious Gang 04. Gang 04 is a gangsterism that is very famous in Malaysia. And he himself enrolled in the soil to be hired. And when we are talking about his what made him famous to become called as a serial killer, after his forming, after he joined the gang of 04, he formed his own gang, 04 Clan, Old Clan Road. So he was like he wanted to make a name out of it, uh, just for the fame. Right? And other than that, he was uh, actively in drug smuggling and killing for sport. So, uh, alright, so we, uh, he has his own gun, so he just kill people for sport purpose. And then all his victims, such as like, uh, example, he goes to a wedding function, he just sees someone he doesn't like, and then he just shoot them and go. That's how he was. And then at the, at 1993, uh, he was finally uh, get caught by a police group, and then he was, uh, what? Yes. Okay, next. Next, I'm going to talk about uh, Lee Chong Ming, the killer Casanova. About him, he's a uh, he's actually an Asian uh, backstreet boy. Um, and after he after he had a heart uh, heartbroken uh, situation, he started to search for victims through ad newspaper to uh, to uh, how do you say to enjoy his pleasure. All right. Uh, so what made him famous? So he got the name of uh, Lee Chong. Uh, most notorious senior rapist and how he got it because he uh, almost uh, raped about 18 people and murdered five and that made him a very serious rapist right. and then um, at the part uh, about his end he just um, got captured okay next all right so next i'll pass to you. next i'll be talking about serial killer from the u.s so this guy name is john wing wing gacy but most people know him as the pogo the clown so he has a stable relationship with his wife. He has two uh, biological kids and two adopted kids. And he, what, how he actually commit his crime is he, he lure people to his house promising about job opportunity. So what made him famous is that he actually uh, sexually assaulted 33 people and killed all 33 of them. So he was sentenced to 12 dead sentence and 21 life sentence. So in 1968, he actually went and told the police, hey, I killed people. I killed people. 1970, he was arrested. 1980, he applied for insanity plea. But after that, he said, I did not commit any crime. In 1993, they found him guilty by finding all the bodies in his house that he buried. And he was sentenced. 1994, he was executed by lethal injection at Stateville Correctional Center. So this is him. Uh, so I'll be dead. I'll be talking about the characteristic of male serial killers. Usually they have criminal history before this, um, and also they are killing the career characters like number of victims, whether they are solo or team, killer and weapon use, and also victim character, how the relationship to the killer and victim sex. Another, I've been talking about the type of serial killer which is organized and disorganized. First organized, they have average or above average intelligence, while disorganized have low intelligence and social and they are also social competent, like they have their own group of friends and 
and disorganized where they are very socially incompetent and also organized follows crime in news media to, to feel the satisfaction and also disorganized they often they don't cover the tracks and they also they control mood during the crime desk that is where they leave the they don't leave the track and anxious mood during the crime this is where they usually leave evidence in the crime scene. So I'll be pass, passing the slides to you. So as conclusion of the whole presentation is circular is more common in male due to factors such as brain damage, hormone and also gene and, uh, abnormalities. Circular can be found in various countries, not only in the United States or in the Europe, but also in Malaysia too. So please be careful. Um, there are different types of serial killer, like what Kevin has said, organized, uh, sorry, like what Morgana has said, organized, disorganized, what he has said, how to control and whatnot. So background of a person can be a cause to them being a serial killer. So <coughs> please be careful when you're out there. That's all from us. Thank you.